Hello and welcome back to JBCTR. Now, today is a quite an exciting day for me. Um, in isolation, there's only so much you can do. So I thought I would attempt something that I've always wanted to do, and that is a full car wrap. So yes, today I am starting my first full car wrap on this beast. Um, yeah, it's a Kia Picanto, not very exciting, I get that, um, but it's small, um, it comes apart quite easily, which is good for a first car wrap, I guess, um, and I don't really want to risk pulling my Fiesta apart, so um, this is going to be the test tube baby for uh, my, uh, my wrapping, I guess. Um, the wrap I'm using is not the most expensive of stuff, it's just plain simple um, and I'll get onto that when we get to the stage but today's video is going to be all about preparing this car for that wrap um, and basically getting it as clean as we can uh, as it's been abused for about six years and not really ever cleaned properly so um, yeah that's today's job. Okay, so plan for today is uh, a little bit more than my normal wash, mainly because this car, as I mentioned, has not been washed properly in about six years. Um, so I'll start with the wheels, uh, mainly to make sure that they look nice once the wrap's on, um, not replacing them because it's just a big kit picanter. Um, so for that, I'll be using Bilberry Wheel Cleaner. Uh, as you can see, buy it in bulk, decant to a spray bottle, and then I'll agitate with a little brush, which is over there. Um, they may also need a little bit of iron remover. So today we're using CarPro Iron X. This stuff absolutely stinks. Uh, so make sure you use it in open areas, um, but otherwise it's pretty good to be fair. Then we'll move on to the traditional snow foam. Uh, I'll be using an auto finesse snow foam lance. Um, but if I'm honest, lots of people sell them looking exactly the same as these. So I'm not entirely sure the auto finesse one is special. Um, but it is pretty good. So um, yeah, I would recommend these. Uh, and for that, we're using Auto Glim Polar Blast. Again, buy in bulk, use a lot of it. Um, so once we've done with the whole snow foamy stuff and the wheels, move on to the bodywork. Um, this stuff is not really very well known, I don't think. Um, Bright Max Clean Max. I've been using it for ages. Uh, it actually gives quite a nice sheen, I'm running a bit low now, um, but I like this stuff. So we'll be using that applied with lamb's wool wash mitt um, because it extracts dirt away from the paint gets it caught up in the wool uh, and it means you don't scratch your paint as you're dragging it across um, this car i know for sure is covered in iron and tar so we need a little bit of tar remover again a auto finesse obliterate um, it's pretty good this stuff not sure it's any better than any of the other competitors but actually i've been using it for a long time and uh yeah i think i'd buy this again um, and again on the bodywork we could probably use INX as well, just because it's never been done. Once that's done, uh, we then move on to the clay bar. Um, I suspect we'll be using nearly an entire block of this uh, because I imagine the car is going to be pretty, pretty grim. But uh, we'll see how we go. This is a built he built hamer, and this is their softest one, which means it doesn't need any lubricant. You just use water. Um, the harder the clay, the more effective it is, um, but you risk marring and damaging your paintwork. So by using a super soft one like this, um, there's little chance of you damaging the paintwork, which is why I like it, because it's kind of foolproof. And then when we're done, ugh, we'll dry it using this woolly mammoth cloth um, by Chemical Guys. This is the coolest thing I've bought in a long time because it's way more absorbent than you would expect. So yeah, so that's, that's the plan. Let's crack on. Right then, uh, so we've got a slight issue, hopefully you can hear me. As you can hear, pressure washer, very broken. Uh, even the, uh, the on-off switch doesn't really work. So uh, we'll unplug that. It's got no pressure, or not enough pressure to do snow foaming. So, um, oh, so annoying. 
five years of hard service this thing and it's finally died oh well well today looks like it's a hose job and uh just just sponge as normal so uh we'll crack on with that okay, try to be brave. You have so much to Now, as you can see, a uh, quick three-stage cleaning process on these wheels has actually brought them up. All right, kind of acceptable. Um, so first stage was Bilbury, just to get rid of general traffic film. Second stage, Iron X, which gets rid of sort of iron and metal deposits that have landed on the alloy, which mainly come from your brake, your brake caliper and your brake pads. Um, and then the final stage was the uh, tar remover. So obviously the tar comes from the, uh, from the road and then ends up on your wheel. Uh, most noticeable improvement from the glue and tar remover was the where an old wheel weight was hanging. Uh, managed to get rid of all the glue. Downside is the wheel weight actually damaged the alloy, so um, I'll never get it spotless. But yeah, that's not too bad considering I've not removed them off the car. Um, they're looking kind of acceptable now, so uh, we'll leave it like that. Now, before I get into the washing of the bodywork, uh, I noticed that they've got this little mud flappy type of thing here. Um, which just appears to be held on with a couple of screws. So I'm going to loosen this off and then hopefully it'll allow me to clean behind it and also wrap behind it as well. And that'll give it quite a nice finish if I can then put that over the top of it again. So uh, yeah, let's get these off and then we can wash the cuffs. Now on the back panel here is probably quite a good example of what Iron X actually does um, as there is a lot of iron on the back of this car and you can see it coming out in like these little drips and drabs which is quite cool. It's quite cool to see a product working like that. Now next up on the agenda is to use the tar and glue remover on the bodywork to get rid of all those little black spots. But before I do that I'm going to remove these badges because there'll be some glue behind them that I'll also need to remove. So for that I'm just going to use some all be satin floss. Um, I guess you should probably use fishing wire or something like that, but essentially you use this in like a sawing motion behind the badge um, in order to pull it off the car nice and safely without damaging the paint. So uh, let's do that now. <laughs> Well, that and half took some going over, I must admit, but it's come off nicely and cleanly. Um, not really any evidence it was ever there at all. So, um, result, now I've just got to do the same thing for the number plate stickers down the bottom, and then I can wipe down the rest of the paintwork and get rid of all the tar spots. And then we should be on to our final wash at last. That is the glue and tar remover done and all the iron X stuff and that's made a big difference. Um, it looks really quite clean now. Um, so next up is another complete car wash, two bucket method, all that stuff. Um, 
I'll literally just skip over that because you've already seen me do it once. Um, and then you can join me on the other side when uh, we start doing the clay parlay. Now, with the caster wet, we're on to our final stage, well not final, near in the final stages of cleaning, and that's the clay. So this is auto hamer, built hamer, I think, soft clay. Um, just use it on a wet car, and then, yeah, nice long strokes, so you don't get any, uh, any circle marks. And we'll, uh, yeah, do that. Now, as you can see from doing a very small part of the car, have a very, very messy clay bar already. So um, this step is definitely worth doing. Oh. Right, so that is the claying done. Um, a lot of crap came off during that stage. So we got one final wash, two bucket method, um, and then get it dry and in the garage, ready for tomorrow's wrapping day. Right then, so uh, I think we're just about done. Um, all dried up, everything is good, I think. It's the cleanest it's ever been in, well, since we bought it, really. So um, yeah, quite looking forward to tomorrow. So all that's left is to pack away, move it into the garage, which is very disinteresting. So uh, I think we'll leave it there. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, once part two is live with the wrap and stuff, pop a link up there and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.